Well, hello there, YouTube. You guys remember, you longtime followers, when Kelly and I took the 2014 demo to uh, um, the Spider Owners Group in Durango, Colorado, and we met up and went through the uh, the Indian uh, uh, cliff dwelling places. And Kelly and I walked around with that super nice guy. His name was Key. It's pronounced Key like a key, but it's K E E. Um, remember that super nice guy? Look what he just bought. I just got through uh, laser aligning it. A beautiful black F3T. Are these things sick or what? So key, and I think he watches. Total miles zero. So this is the very first time this lovely gal has been ridden. I gotta take a weird turn here. <laughs> Listen to the whir of that beautiful motor. Is she lovely or what? T models or something special. So lovely. First thing I do, I get you guys stuck in a traffic light. That was a quick one though. I still haven't, uh, and I won't be able to today either, take them out and get a good. Uh, good feel for uh, how the uh, windshield works on these things. I love the way an F3 handles. I love that sitting in the bike instead of on the bike feeling that they have. And of course the uh, alignment feels phenomenal done so many of those done so many of these things that you could almost do them in your sleep now but I still you know I you know the old measure twice cut once deal <laughs> I can't help myself you know there's nothing worse than uh you know, measuring something and getting it wrong. So it's just easier just to check, recheck, sometimes check a third time. It's such a precise thing to do, you know, this laser alignment. And, uh, man, just those, if you mismeasured something somewhere, it's gonna th throw the thing completely out of kilter. It's very sensitive but very precise and it's amazing how it stays in tune over vast distances of a mile so you know I've dropped these things in you know the demos dropped them in potholes and all kinds of stuff you know I think you would literally have to impact something to knock one off and the steering system just must be so strong that uh, you know it's not you know susceptible to uh, getting knocked out. You know how your car you go bombing down dirt roads and stuff like that enough you'll uh, your alignment gets off, or just normal wear of components can do it too. But it amazes me to check these things like the demos. You know the. And I'll do it with this one as well, you know, when it when I do the, the final service before putting it on the floor, I always recheck the alignment. And to my utter shock, it's exactly where I left it. This is nice. Super, super, super nice. What's cool is it has all the feeling of the F3, the standard F3, but you got all the comfort of, you know, having the fairing and this one this one doesn't come with the stereo he's like me he never turns the stereo on if it had it you know 
but um, you know you have that that option and you got the RT style uh, LCD gauge and mm, got saddlebags plus it just looks awesome Key, I know you'll watch this so this is the the first run on your beautiful new F3T and he's been a manual guy so far and this year he uh, he's going with the SE6 which is uh, on these 1330s I, I don't see that's the salesman there Mike flip the shield up here oh this is his old one he's trading in <laughs> how perfect is that This thing tracks like it's been laser aligned for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why that is. Hey, did you see where Don put the F3 wheels on his uh, RT? That thing, that looks so good on that RT. Yeah, I agree. Just stands out. God dang, these things are nice. Look where BRP's got, where they didn't wipe all their wax off. It's still got spots of wax all over it. Well, at least you know they waxed it, right? Yeah. <laughs> to. I haven't gotten one of these up to a speed yet, but from what little I've done, that windshield seems to work phenomenally well. And the guys at BRP were, were telling me, they go, oh yeah. Makes a world of difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that wax spots all over it. What's that? That's, that's got wax spots all over it. It's down on the grill there too. Uh-huh. The, the Canadians got buck wild with their uh, polish. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for uh, coming along for the, for the test ride. You see what's sitting over there by that sign against the wall? That is the Springfield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we talk to you guys later.